Okay, here we have a new plane. And it's of course having the turbine engines. And I'm gonna use the bar surfacing here to connect this turbine with the body. So firstly, if you just want to make it uh, uh, with the surfacing tools, okay, you should uh, do like sketches, some sketches and lofted, lofted surface and you can use a boundary surface uh, from here and you're gonna do some uh, big stuff or uh, like you can do it with the hard way or you can do it with the easy way and using the bar surfacing tool. So let's use the bar surfacing. So I have here this turbine engine here and I want to connect it with the body wing here. So firstly I'm gonna click on create a box from the bar surfacing menu. Okay, so I have the box here, I have my plan, let's hit OK. Let's convert to sub D mesh. Okay, now I here have the sub D mesh that I created. I'm gonna just move it uh, until it's, it goes here. We will create like a good shape for the handle that connects the two bars together okay so just let's make it small like that okay so I'm gonna just get the right plan here now pick it up here and just try to center the things here okay let's say I just want to create a good shape this is the top view. Okay. Let's make it a little bigger. Okay. Now from here, I'm just gonna hold the A key and just snap. Hold again and snap like that. Okay. So I want to just the extrude it, we just make it a little smaller and just edit the shape until you happy with the results okay now here we just want to connect it these two together we're just gonna move some lines here let's pick up this face here and now it's connected with the plan face okay but of course it's not it's not good like that i i think it's it's very bad okay so just let's make it wider from here okay and let's pick this face up here okay so we can move this line up here this one also okay that's amazing okay now I want to see the board. Let's hide this and we can make this bigger like that. Okay. We can also crease these lines to give it better luck like that. And with the display control mesh, you can see it perfectly to make uh, the shape looks more streamlined and curvature. Okay. Now look at that. It's quietly good. increase this too a little like that and okay that seems good it's too weak here so just let's make it um, 
became bigger let's go bigger and back behind a little okay let's make a backup line here we like that so you just created a piece that I just changing in it manually to give the shape that I just want you can apply the curvature on here also to see the streamlines and the curvature view and just Okay, it seems good now. Let's just move this inside. Now because of the air and the aerodynamic for the plan, uh, we should like just make it center like that. Okay. Now look at this. I can change it any time. Can make any look I want it. Okay. We can even increase this line here. The space like that. As you see in here. And you can even increase these lines here. We can see I'm gonna show it to you look at this when I just creasing it it's by creasing the these boards we can just crease it a little not that much okay now if I happy with this result I can even go more detail and click on subdivide now it's subdivided and I just can uh, make it more interesting to add the more like more details on it you can just pick up these center lines here and just move it to inwards like that or I can even move it upwards here I think that's better let's move it a little bit and I'm gonna crease this line here okay this seems nice Okay, and it's look amazing now. So we can select this whole loop faces. Right click and you have the switch of face ring selection here and just move it a little to the downside to see it. I'm gonna make this hole one bigger let's convert to this view let's hide it to be more view so let's show the whole part I'm just gonna do that and move this to a little to back here move it like that and select all these four faces let's make it flatter like that and just big a little okay and move up like that now just gonna crease these lines a little look at that and let's make it 22 and crease okay now let's make everything back to its original state and I think we're good for now. Now this is the right view here. Let's make sure it's nice. Doesn't have any problem. I think it must go a little like that. And this one here. Okay, I'm happy with this 
shape now. I just did it, I just did it in the 10 minutes as you see. And I can even do more and more and change the shape uh, however I want it. So this is the back and the right and this is the top as you see in here. Let's see the front. Okay, everything seems nice now. We have here two solutions now to combine this stuff together. First solution is we can use the combined tools from the solid box. Let's just convert. Okay, as you see now, you have the body that connects the wing with the turbine motor. So I can now use the combine tool from the futures and hit combine. Now select this parts together and click add combine. So they will just combine together and creates a line and the center between every single part. Okay. We can also of course delete this stuff here. But I'm just gonna show you how we can combine this parts together and I can even do a fillet here to merge them and make wonderful connection. So I just applied the fold here, but 10 is large for that. So let's try one and see as you see here. Okay, seems like the plane is a little small. I'm just gonna make the other fold here too. Let's see if it's, this can be done. Okay, that's nice. Um, let's click OK and apply it. And boom, we get the plane and it's fully connected together now. This is very nice, very smooth, very streamlined. As you see, look at the reflection here. Let's just remove the lines from the plane. Now this is really amazing. The good part here and the cooler part here and you, is that you can just anytime click on edit future and you can uh, you can do whatever you want with this shape if you just want to edit something here if you just want to make it bigger smaller you can manipulate it anytime without any problems so let's say I just want to make it bigger and I just want to back it a little like that just hit apply and it's gonna just re-edit and re applying every folds and all the stuff here as you see okay let me just increase the performance and increase the quality and as you see in here after increasing the quality it's amazing okay now this is the first solution to connect it together as you see in here and by the way this is a solid body because it's just closed in the bar surfacing now it's uh, gonna be look like that if we just create a section let's create a section here and as you see it's a full solid body is here okay uh, of course we can um, we can just repeat this in the another turbine engine here but I just I'm gonna show you on the one uh, just single turbine so let's edit and use the another solution and about surfacing you have a futures here for constraining and you have ability to constrain this board with the other bodies of the turbine and the wing of the plane so I can just click on invert reference here and make a reference for me to connect them um, this body is gonna connect to the airplane wing from the down here at this face and from the turbine motor at this face okay so I'm just gonna hit OK here and now I just referenced the two faces to just connect the uh, this is middle part okay so just 
in case you want to use will use the constraints you're just gonna delete these faces this four faces here let's delete them okay now you have your body like it's a surface it's empty surface okay so let's back again like that and make it smaller now you have here your face let's just remove the perspective okay now I'm just gonna head okay uh, I'm just gonna head this line right click and click on switch edge loop selection here and use this edge loop okay so I'm gonna select this edge loop here and just constrain it to face okay now it's just constrain it with the surface and we have here the other one let's select the this loop here make it let's delete this one okay now select this edge loop and constrain to face okay as you see it's just constrained automatically too now I'm happy with this one and let's see this one also just click smooth so it's not being a hard edge you can move it whatever you want I can delete this face let's make it a little short less details and the face as you seen it's just tangency it's really tangency here you can edit the underlines here this down line too like that Okay, you see I'm creating a new shape for the wings and the turbine motor. Let's do that. And this one from the center here. We add just a line here and just insert it this line by pressing the A key, move it to this place and just press OK or press with the mouse button. So let's just let OK and convert it. And you will gonna see it just as same as we combine it the pieces together. And as you see it's I think it's more uh, cooler than the regular fillet. So the fillets couldn't create this amazing shape but with the more surfacing we actually did it and it's just combine it. This is constrain it now with the flange. Okay we created another shape another look for the iron you see let's say from far away let's turn in perspective and some effects as you see here okay we can just edit future let's make for the other turbine remove the constraint can just remove all reference Okay, now just apply this, make a laser clone and re-import reference. It's this face with this face. Let's make the other faces too. Okay. Now we have for the two turbines. We'll make this first. One here. And the face. And the other one. 
the face. Okay, and the another body. Okay, you see it's here at the end of the turbine motor. I just move it a little to the center of the turbine motor, but make sure it's not um, crossed with this importing reference because it's not gonna be nice if you just uh, constrain it and you didn't uh, insert a reference here. So we inserted this face reference, it's until here, this green line. So I'm just gonna back a little like that. Okay, now select this ring loop and constrain the face and make it from the bottom also. Let's hide the plan. It's here and click the face. Okay. Now hit OK, wait it until it's converting. Now you got two turbine motors connected to the body of the plane. It's nice features actually and it's uh, amazing. We're just having fun with that. I really enjoyed doing this and as you see, look at here for the curvature and the float or a radius board here. It's gonna be different here and if we just look at here, it's a little uh, different because we just change it the curvature of it and we change the tangency manually and you can you can see it here like a little bit radius from the sides and it's more radius here actually you can choose whatever you want and it's gonna be fine for the both here is actually another good tip we can do okay now we have here this board that connects these two parts together. We can do a good trick here. Let's just remove all constraints here. We can remove all the constraints. Now we have the board again. Let's just delete this one and close this. Now I'm going to close it by selecting this ring here and you can collect quad fill. So it's automatically close it. We can do the other side also like that. So I have here this part. We can take it and put it here. and make it inside now i'm just gonna clone this one let's clone this part here by pressing here and move now i have two bodies holding this turbine you can actually connect them with a very smart way select these two faces in these two faces and I can make a bridge okay I'm gonna create this bridge here This is very helpful and sure to cut the time a lot. Okay, now I'm happy with that. 
Let's click convert. Now you get the these ports converted and it's holding the turbine engine Not like that. Let's combine them. So I can say I think it's actually combined. So let's changing the float. Let's delete this float here. They combine it uh, from the previous combine that we created. Let's let's delete the combine also. <coughs> and recombine now oh, it's amazing okay let's click okay now you have these cords together look at that it's actually holding this turbine motor this is a good shape now this is a good and amazing techniques that we used in the power surfacing okay so i hope you enjoyed this was the tutorial we have enjoyed using the constraints we used the regular combined tools for the solid works and we just created this part for holding the turbine motors uh in this plane uh, i think it's can hold them okay so thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoy it, see you later.